Okay. The message today. N A N. So this this could also be like someone's nan, right? Like someone's uh grandmother also but this is a ur an urban person that is very boisterous and wears faux designer apparel so this would be somebody who you know knockoffs but they say that it's real just fake person or people another wild night there could have been something happened last night like something that's like holy shit really like a drunk someone's a drunk as well tell me about this person that wears knockoffs and shit uh, and comes off like they got money Aries for somebody for somebody listening it's a husband or a father um emperor I mean what is this this is green yeah this person actually doesn't have anything this person is broke, diplomatic, a bully, yeah, that's what it feels like, they're a liar, and you're a cheat, yeah, alright, let's see what, this could be Fran, Anthony, Frank, Anthony, Sean, Andrew, Fran, Francis, which would be Frank again, alright, but let's see if there's more. Charles, or their name begins with the, with C or K. J or S, Justine, Jessica, Jason, Justin, Chuck Jones. Oh, you know what was funny? Is that there was a dude that showed up with a female's fur on, trying to be a pimp and acting like they were something that they're not, okay? Um, this person is a short fuse, mentally disturbed, but they had uh, a chick, Rebecca Zachary, I feel like it was, um, fur coat on, and they were wearing it as theirs. Omar, Monica, KJM, Moses, Morris. Um, all right, let's see. Gamers, oh gosh. All right, so that's what this is. These could just be older men who still sit the fuck home and play video games, but when they're in front of other people, they like to be the man, right? They, they like they. These are guys that think they're a pimp. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody got a hat to match, or stole or killed somebody to get a hat to match. Michael. All right, DoorDash. Something could have happened. I mean, for somebody, somebody drives for DoorDash and they're acting like they're 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 rich. You can trust them. Who's this? You thought you could trust them. They could have killed Michael in May. You can trust them. Tell me about this. You can trust them. Someone's a good person, though. Somebody's slurring his shit, though, man. I, I don't, I mean, I don't feel like people believe this person. I just think people don't have the balls to say, we don't believe you because this, you know? I just think people don't, they're, they're so much more inclined to gossip about somebody who's not in the room than to say something that's facts to somebody who is. Hmm. I mean, somebody could say that they travel for work, though, too. I don't know. Is this somebody who's saying that they invest or somebody could even say that they're like a producer or something? That's what I feel. If if this dude doesn't doesn't drive for DoorDash, because I feel like he does. It, it's like, who are you portraying yourself to be, bro? Cigarette. Uh, I wish you were my neighbor, the one that keeps to themselves. This is somebody who likes to get in people's business. This is that newsy neighbor, man. That newsy motherfucker. I need to know everything you're doing. 
cool. Well, let's put everything that you're doing out there then, right? I like to spy on you or I like to harass you and shit like that. So, Monica, so let's see uh, what's going on. I don't know if Monica is one of them or Michael and Monica. Uh, this person could have done something to them in May. If this was a couple that went missing. Um, tell me, uh, give me one of these, please. Thank you. Had a penis drawn on my forehead while I was sleeping. It's a drunk, passed out drunk, bully. What else is going on here, though? There's something. There's something else here. Let me get some of these. All right. Tell me. Tell me. Married to their phone. Okay. I don't. Is somebody in a relationship with this cat, and they're saying that they have this, that, or the other? That this is somebody that will rent. They will rent probably with someone else's credit card that they unalived, or 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 they they steal to get. Like this is somebody that will put fake jewelry on. Okay, uh, they will rent a nice car to take you out on a date with. It's all an illusion. It's all to get you and to reel you in. This person is a, a woman beater. It's like a Ike Turner. It's a psych Turner though. I mean, Ike actually had things, you know, I, that's one thing I can say about Ike, is he actually did have nice things. Didn't we tell you there's no loyalty amongst criminals? Or, or is Monica dating this person? Huh? Yeah. Like, who, did, did a general, somebody could have even lied and said that they're a general, and they're not. But, but is that what you're looking for? I mean, are there really that many women who think that it's cool to date gang members? I mean, it may have been a while ago. It may have been attractive. Now, what it is, is they're just criminals who have records and they can't work. And they're on assistance and they act like they're something else. And they attack women. So, you know, for somebody that would choose that, I would say that maybe you lost your self-esteem somewhere along the way. Somebody could have said that they got a promotion or they, they whatever this is. But yeah, illusion. That's what it is. Look, it's illusion. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, truth. Oh yeah, I mean I got this. I got this. Yeah, my other whip. My other whip's getting fixed, and my boy. You know what I mean? It, and then this is the dude that when you go out to eat. Oh man, I left my wallet. Like, and there's people who fall for this shit. I may have. So it's like I understand it. And this is why people like me expose this kind of stuff because they're everywhere. So I mean, I guess I'm just going to clear this because somebody needs to realize that the one that's a female's fur coat. If somebody does have one on a fur coat, all everything that even may be nice or, or legit that this person has was stolen uh, off of other people. So that's for somebody. Let's get another message for someone else. They could have said they owned the building or something like that. Or yeah, it just feels real embarrassing. Like, motherfucker, like you can barely pay your cell phone bill. All right. All right. I see Bill Oliver. Oliver Williams. A joint and a cigarette. I don't know, there's something about it. Uh, Olivia Riaz, Oliver Riaz, Erickson, Wilson. I guess it's W S O V and E R. Alright, so you put that how it fits, that's that's what this is gonna be. They may have tried to, to um, clone a phone, but the cameras, the sensors are on for somebody. If if you if you took my advice and watched the videos on YouTube about turning your sensors to your camera off, they could have been trying to do something through your phone, but you're, there's no camera, all right? Also, when they say no camera, that for me, they let my ancestors know that that means that somebody was great, gang great, and they said, like, please don't, don't put this on camera. So there could have been a general that had this done, and that person that I just exposed is the one who did it. Someone's name could have been Michael. This could have been for like Latin Kings. 
Michael. Now, I want to make something clear. There are a lot of people that were cloned. It, it, it was like gang leaders, cartel leaders, like people who had some type of power position or like some kind of status. So for me personally here, there were people that I thought were dead because I didn't feel their energy no more. I didn't feel it. I can feel when it's here and I can feel when it's not. Some of them, it was their clone. And for others, they were taken somewhere. That's why it wasn't, they weren't here. So, um, you know, it gets real uh, deep when it comes to this cloning. Yeah, so I just wanted to, like, people all over the place that watch my channel, they are cloning people everywhere. So you may very well have some friends or family or even someone that you're, some of your kids, you know, depending on how old they are. How you can tell the difference is that the, the lines on the palm of a clone are different, they told me. So, uh, what is this, WVR... Whatever. Okay, well, let's see what's whatever. Whatever. It, I hope this ain't dudes that say that shit. Uh, whatever. Because uh, that, that's so unattractive. But we'll see. It could be a chick. Let's see. Okay, whatever. To what? It's either a couple. Why, why is this? Somebody could have said whatever about, about marrying somebody. Like, they don't care. I, I don't feel like that's true. What is this? Yeah. There's a couple, though. I feel like somebody is experiencing karma. And Nicola, someone's name could be Nicola or Nick. And somebody, um, this could be somebody that you were in a relationship with. And now they're experiencing karma. All right. They, they made a bad judgment call with somebody else, though. Or somebody made one with them, damn it. Um, but that's what I feel like somebody is like, like whatever, but they're acting like they don't care that they lost somebody and, and it's a lie. Yeah, um, this is somebody that cheated on you. Yeah, because they were immature. Um, somebody could have said that you were, you're valuable or that you're doing something great and they could have been like, whatever, you know what I mean? Something like that. This is somebody that you were, you're finished with because they cheated. It could be because they party also. They just had a different lifestyle. They weren't ready to commit, right? They were trying to hold on to you in some way, right? But I feel like, you know, maybe you realize your worth. Somebody could have even been, been holding on to money that, that belonged to you or they're cheap as well. This person, um, this person could have had a successful business off of the back of someone else. Yeah, look at this shit, though. I mean, look at this. They should have held on to you. Someone's judgment is like, I don't know who they're with now, if they're with anybody. But this person should have held on to you because look at this. This is success, fucking money. This is wish fulfillment. This is everything you want in a person right here. These are some of the best, best cards in the whole tarot deck right here. So that's what happened. So now I feel like they're broke. Or they feel they feel like you like left them out in the cold. I don't know how this breakup happened. Uh, but it was their fault. All right, let me get one of these and see what's happening here. Somebody could have said that they dated you, and there could be people who said whatever, you know, and you actually did as well. I'm campaigning to get a sandwich named after you at my local deli. So you're known. People know you in the community. But this is a smear campaign as well. This is trying to ruin someone's reputation. There could be somebody who didn't believe it. You know, somebody could have said, like, you cheated or that you're high, getting high. And, and there's somebody here who was like, whatever. I want to say something uh, out loud, though. Bill Oliver, I, I said that your, your clone was here the other day and that you were locked up somewhere. I'm the reason that if, you, if this person got out and stuff like that, I'm the reason that everybody got out from where they were. I'm the one that put the address on, even on my community board. Um, all right, so tell me about this campaigning to get... Uh, Karma. Karma, karma. This is what it yeah, this but look at this. This is destined for greatness and success. You you could have said something like, I'm destined for something better, and somebody was like, whatever. And I feel like they're seeing something transpire, or there's people talking about something that, that you're doing, and they have no choice but to admit 
you know, that um, you're, this is actually happening. Destination, right, destiny. Put these upside down. Upside down, boy, you turn me inside out and round and round. I feel like somebody wanted you to be like that. Did somebody cheat on you or that for somebody, uh, they broke up with you and didn't mean it. And, and you were like, cool, like I'm tired of doing the breaking up, making up game. And you and you rolled and somebody didn't know what to do with that, you know, because I feel like they do this to get control. They will break up. This is the type of person that will intentionally fight with you so that they can go out. You know what I mean? Instead of just having a, a healthy relationship, this the, every relationship this person has had has been built off of manipulation and lies and gaslighting. So this is you quickly. Like, this is quick, constant, like, leveling up. Like, where you're going, it's going to be quick. I feel like you're going to, it's going to be, um, it feels like overnight fame. Tell me about this accelerated motion. Eight, two is like abundance number. That's money. Yeah, with your gifts. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be leaving or moving away and working with collaborating with uh, possibly an Aquarius, but this is this is your gifts bringing you some kind of like great shit, right? A great shit. And somebody's going to have to watch it. Whoever said whatever. This could be multiple people said whatever. Lamia, I always think of Jim Lamia, okay? That person could also be involved. But look at, look at in this picture, look at how this person's being tortured by like some kind of demonic entity and shit. That's what I feel like is happening. They, they look lifeless. What is this again? This lamb. That's somebody's response. Whatever. It feels so childish. Beware of grief and loss becoming so great they begin to hurt others, bringing company to misery. Right. Miserable people. Misery loves company type of people. Whatever. This person's going to do this. Whatever. And, and and it's either happening already for somebody listening. Like you're already famous. Like some kind of celebrity or something. Or you're, you're going to be. And they're going to have to sit there and eat their words. That I don't know if they've eaten anything in days with the local deli. These people could even be hungry. Yeah, they disrespected ancestors. What did they do though? When you disrespect ancestors, it's usually black magic or it's even um, destroying their own bloodline, man. Yeah, mommy issues. These are definitely males. All right, whatever. Childish, immature males that say that shit. You ever been around a man that says whatever as, as a friggin' woman, not a chick, but a woman and how unattractive that shit is? Um, going nuts. Yeah, that's what's happening. Somebody's somebody is realizing that if they treated you with the respect that you earned and deserved, they could have still been with you, man, and they could have been sharing this shit that you're about to get. Or for somebody, this is the life you have already, and these are exes of yours. Now that you're a star, the same people who once counted you out have to go through your assistant now, type of shit. Tell me, um, just give me one. Thank you. Your growth scares people who don't want to change. Right? You you had the option, right? I mean, it's not like everybody has a choice to make. You made a choice to change. I guess you had some kind of like a awakening, I'm guessing. Um, tell me about this change. Tell me about the change. So you stop making impulsive decisions that you regret. When it comes to men, that's for damn certain. Getting into relationships too quick, saying I love you too quick. Yeah, you stopped and, and you, because they were you were stuck. I'm not getting into relationships anymore. Why well, wind up stuck in life, getting evicted, you know, getting our cars repossessed, the fucking electric turned off. Yeah, somebody else runs with the herd and you ran the other way. Yeah, and you focused on something else. I feel like it's you. I mean, look how this stuff, like this person here is looking this way and everything else here is behind them. Like I put this shit behind me now. I cut this shit out. I cut out um, immature relationships. 
people that can't commit, you know what I mean? This is like standing strong by myself because I know. It's like, look at this person. Look at the back turned in both of these cards. It's like, I'm not even looking back. I This is somebody that, um, when you said that you were finished with certain shit, I don't even feel like it was gradual. I feel like it was fucking, that's a wrap and that's done. And, and it's difficult to do. So I don't even think that people thought you were serious. Like, how does this person just... It's like cold turkey. This could have been addiction, too. You, you could have stopped something cold turkey. It feels like everything with you was cold turkey. Um, Above you. These people acted like they were above you, right? And I feel like there are some people in some down-and-out fucking situations. People that, that thought, what, the mayor? So for somebody, the mayor acted like they were above you as well you, you aren't holding on to shit you know I don't hold grudges you know thank you you know uh, uh, there's a zero the mayor um thank you um thank you for showing me and, and having me learn the lessons right that you were either uh, a lesson for me or a blessing for me I see the ones that are the lessons and I keep it moving it's, it's, you're happier this way though, right? No, someone never thought that you would be happier without them, whether this is family or exes or friends or, it's like holding on to, needing closure or something, you know? Like there's some people who thought, well, this person is gonna come back. I was wrong, right? And I just can't live without you. They'll never say it. Somebody will never say this shit, man. But they're having a real hard time. And I feel like they've been. Yeah, this is this is what I was about. Happiness. That's all you care about is your own happiness. Maybe, oh, ding, ding, ding. You cared more about making other people happy than yourself. And motherfuckers took that for granted, okay? Like, this person's always going to be like this. For sure, yeah, truth. And you're like, bitch, no. Like, I'm walking away from this shit, right? Childish, childish relationships where... Hey, you know, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know, I, right? Liars and cheats, the uh, ones that compete with you, like men that are actually competing with you. you as for somebody, you won't fuck with gangs or anything like that, you know what I mean? Because you know your worth, damn it. I don't want you just only wanting to be around me when I'm doing well. And then when things go down, you're supposed to be the one that stands strong and you guys are, you're the one that winds up freaking falling and I'm the one that's got to constantly like make us, bring us back up again. Or for, for somebody, you're the kind of woman where you would fix every problem. Everything was put on you. I don't feel like it was put on, well, I feel like you, you're the type of person that would just, it's instinct for you to want to fix things. And then what that did was that made these guys codependent on you. So now you don't do that anymore. I mean, um, messing with people's food, can't have an adult conversation, right? So it's like, don't even, right? How many times have you broken up with somebody, right? And then you, let's just talk, let's just talk, right? And you talk and, and then all they wanna do is say their side. You won't even, you won't even give this life anymore. And it's making some people crazy. They, they hide it well, but it's gonna get to the point where they're not gonna be able to hide it. What's up with messing with people's food, though? Tell me about messing with people's food. Someone you're in a relationship with now? Oh, it's a business. Somebody could be lying and saying that they have a business and really there's somebody that I, anything that they have is from putting stuff in people's food and then getting paid for that. So how do you, so I have this and I have that. How do I say I have these things though? Because nobody sees me go to fuck to work, right? So I have to say that I'm connected to a business where I may be a silent partner, you know, because I, they don't see me go to work every day. And so I have to lie. The whole thing is just made up lies. Somebody's going to get to love this person, right? Somebody's going to, whoever's going to wind up showing love to you after you cut all this shit out. Because you will get rewarded by the universe for actually sticking to it and knowing your worth 
and not allowing this shit to like infiltrate your life anymore. There's going to be a reward from the universe. Give me just one. She's good. What is um? You knew it wasn't butter the whole time. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. So you know, don't come in here with your bullshit, with your script, okay? And th this is really fucking with somebody. Somebody's name could be Brian. Um, if you needed a kidney, I would totally help you steal one. Are these some guys that you dated that got involved with this? There was somebody trying at one point to traffic your organs. And maybe this is why you're like, you know, I know that you tried this. So why would I let you back in my life like that? You know what I mean? It's, it's like I might as well just traffic my own organ letting you back into my life mars this has a lot to do with that energy i told you guys that was being sent down from mars by those beings and i think that people laughed or thought that i was crazy about that but it's happening it's transpiring people are going they're losing their minds and because they're not right in the head it's everything that's happening in their life is thing is is a direct result of how, what's going on in their mind it's manifesting as physical shit whether it's sick, uh, sickness, loss, fighting with everybody, these people are not used to losing. That don't feel like that. This don't seem like winning to me, but I mean, I'll okay. Um, we'll say it just for, you know, just because for shits and giggles. Uh, these people are finally losing. Okay, <laughs> like the, the the competition here. If you got, I said the other day to people, you keep trying to hack my shit, and I'm unhackable, right? That the government at one point where I was staying sent professional hackers and they couldn't hack me because I figured out how not to be hacked. And I said, you guys, your pride and ego of we're going to get this person is, is destroying you because aren't there other people you could be hacking or even stalking? And you could be getting a lot more if you moved on. But it's the pride that's a lot of these people. It's their own pride and ego and greed. That, that, that you have nothing to do with what's going on in these people's lives. So, so you, this is somebody that won't allow you to do whatever it is that you want because they fight, right? You should be this way. So you're going to tell me that if this was happening to you, you would just fall, you would just give in? Would you? Ask yourself, if this was happening to me and, and I was this person, right? I was in their position, would I just give in? Say the answer out loud so that you can hear yourselves. <clears throat> so you expect somebody else to do that then, huh? Do you ever think that maybe somebody um, doesn't know what that is and they're not forcing it or forcing a narrative, but th the life that they had forced them into be a kind of person where I don't even realize that I'm not losing. I'm just being who I've always been. Tell me about this, these people are not used to losing and you are the lesson and the exception feels like gang stalking again huh yeah look this was what it was i feel like that uh if they couldn't steal from you or get you physically somehow they were trying they, they tried a psychological approach they attacked your mental Yeah, they also tried lying on you to get, you know, like if, you know, when when you're a uh, when you're just solid and you know who you are, a warrior. Yeah, that's why. Look, they attacked a warrior. The, this person comes from an ancestry of warriors. It's just who they are. It's in their DNA makeup. You can't get mad at someone because they're like this. You should be like this, especially if you're men. And this is a woman. You should be the warrior that this person is. And maybe that's why it bothers you so much, man. Maybe you're being shown like this is kind of how we're supposed to be, right? But you didn't you don't even care about the lies and the slander. That was supposed to fuck you up in the mind. Nothing. I don't feel like anything. If this was harassment or electronic harassment or people saying that you did something, I just feel like none of this shit worked. And it's because of the warrior spirit. It goes a long way, huh? Yeah, with the Page of Swords, I'm telling you, lying about you, right? Thinking this will come back to that person. And you could just not give a fuck if you have friends or not, 
right? Like someone that cares whether they have friends or people in their life would have been affected by the smear campaign and all these lies. But somebody who's like, damn, uh, you know, go ahead. I mean, I know who I am. Um, people are going to lie. I mean, look at the smear campaigns done on like Trump and shit. I mean, you have to just get over that shit and keep it moving. This has been smear campaigns and, and ruining someone's reputation or trying to. I mean, that's been going on since the beginning of time. So, you know, like, yeah, truth, right? So now what else is next, right? Is they tried all this stuff. So what's next? T tell me what's next. Super excited. I, you are because you know you're destined for something great. And you stay super excited. It's like somebody going, listen, on this date... We're going to be bringing you a whole suitcase full of money or you're going to come here and you're going to pick up a check and da, 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 da. And then it's like people trying to disrupt your peace when you know that that's coming. Yeah, what? Yeah, queen of cups. Mm -hmm. Loving. You could be a water sign, but this is just somebody who loves herself. That's why. Yeah, divine feminine. I'm telling you, look at this shit. You could be a Libra, a Taurus, or a water sign, but this is like, I know. I'm very confident in who I am and where I'm going. Where are you going? What's your long face? Pulling down. But you don't have a long face. Somebody else could. Why the long face? I feel like there's a lot of people who have long faces. Heavy heads. Heavy hearts. And long faces. Some of them, the long face is because their, their sadness on the inside is starting to show in their face. For others, um, the long face. It could be from drugs. Yeah, you've been through it already. Like I, 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 I'm a warrior, but I, I chose not to be at war with people, so I stay peaceful, right? And you, this is you. Like I see you, though, my fucker. Right? I see you. I know what you're doing. See how this person sees everything, but they're just kind of standing. I just feel like you sat and watched this blow up. Or you just, it's like you had front row seats. Grab your popcorn. You put your guard up with karmic masculine. That's right. Right? This is what helped me. If any women want to know how did I do it, I had to put my guard up with dudes like this. Right? I'm a fan of you guys. So they're really fans, though. Yeah, death. You know, I, I, I put my guard up with any dudes that they have nothing going on in their life. And some of them even look like they're about a foot away from the grave. That helps. Um, I put my guard up with dudes who take everything from me and try to even take my dignity, self-respect, and my soul for some of them. And, and that's why somebody keeps thriving like this. It has a lot to do with, with the, the men that they cut out of their life. Yeah, truth, facts, again, okay? I cut my I cut out dudes that I know look like they have AIDS. Uh, that that you know like to destroy you. with this would be death with a dick because that's my dick card. Uh, you know it's kind of simple, right? You can, I can read auras. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know I'm a blessing, and I know. Oh, this is also dudes that like to impregnate women to trap them as well, right? These are dudes. That have nothing. That look at this shit, right? They have nothing except dick to offer. <laughs> the next thing you know, I get pregnant, right? I think we're gonna be happy, and they're yay, yeah, All right? And then what happens? They break my fucking heart. Somebody cut this shit out, and this is this is the solution. Yeah, look. And then next thing you know, it's like the greed comes in, and and they everything is theirs now, right? Alcohol and drugs come into play. And then they wind up beating me or verbally abusing me or fucking making me cry at night. Yeah, and then the broke-ass motherfuckers. And next thing you know, like, their greedy asses take everything. They get credit cards in my name. The house is in my name. Like, this is what it feels like. This is somebody's formula to happiness as a woman, as a strong woman. Cut out toxic-ass fucking dudes who can't function in society without mommy. Right? That is the quick and simple solution for this shit. And the only dudes that are going to be uh, affected, right, like angry at that being said, are the ones who are actually like that. For the ones who aren't like that and they are self-made, they are going to laugh it off and say, this bitch is right, you know, because some of them are actually my friends. And maybe I need to even cut out my friends, a mechanic. I don't know if somebody said something. I was a roof mechanic, not a roofer. Um, 
big difference. But um, yeah, so there may even be some men that are going to watch this that are going to go, damn, you know what? I, I always just think of this as like a relationship thing with females that are opportunists. But a lot of my friends I'm realizing are opportunists and I need to cut them out as well so that maybe I can go, I want to go higher. Right, I want to go where this chick is going, right? Because she seems like she's advancing at a rapid rate. Anyway, we're not going nowhere. Love you. Philly out.